Welcome to the iTester graphing tutorial. This tutorial will use the Algebra 1 practice test to review the tools available in the iTester system to graph assessment responses. This information will be helpful for the Algebra 1 pretest as well as the Algebra 1 end of course assessment. Graphing in iTester is different from graphing using a pencil and paper. This training was designed to assist teachers and students with the use of the graphing tools. After watching this tutorial, teachers and students will be prepared to work with the tools in the practice version of the Algebra 1 assessment. The usernames and passwords are in the test administration manual. Students will also be able to practice using the tools on the Algebra 1 pretest. Teachers and students may log into the practice test on any computer that has the secure browser iTester. The tools in iTester are always the same. The selection tool will allow the user to move and delete items on the graph. The point tool will allow the user to place points on the graph. The line tool will allow the user to draw line segments on the graph. The draw tool will allow the user to draw freehand on the graph. There are two text tools that can be used. One will create a text box with a horizontal orientation. The other will allow the user to create a text box with a vertical orientation. The delete tool will allow the user to delete any user constructed item on the graph once it is selected by the selection tool. The rest of this tutorial will be a demonstration of using the iTester tools to create graphical displays of information which will be required on the end of course assessment. This tutorial will not cover all possible needs that a student may have during an assessment but will attempt to illustrate the general requirements of most graphs. All graphs will require axes, scaling, and labeling. This will be accomplished using the selection, line, and text tools. Users will need to determine the location of the horizontal and vertical axes. In this tutorial, the axes will be placed on the left side and at the bottom of the 20 by 20 grid. Users may place the axes in other locations if they desire. The text tools will be used to label the axes. In this tutorial, the horizontal axis will be labeled horizontal axis. The vertical label will be labeled vertical axis. The user will need to label these based on the information that will be displayed on his or her graph. The user can use the selection tool to move the labels into the correct position. Please remember in most cases units should be identified completely. Next, the axes must be scaled. The user must decide how to scale each axis based on the information provided in the problem. The text tools will be used to place numbers at the appropriate locations on the axis. It is important that the user is precise in the placement of these numbers. Displaying points is the first method. Any confusion may be considered evidence of lack of understanding by the scorer. It will take some time to correctly and precisely scale each axis. Please remember how important this step is in demonstrating proficiency of graphing information. If the user decides, the axis may also be cut using the draw tool. The scaling of the axis will also help identify that the axis has been cut. The user may also decide that a title is needed to communicate information to the audience. A title can be placed above the graph using the text tool. Once it is created, it can be moved to the proper location using the selection tool. The graph is now prepared for data. This tutorial will only review discrete points, line segments, rays, lines, and curves. The user may decide to do something different or use a combination of these methods to display the information. Displaying points is the first method. Again, it is very important that these points are placed as precisely as possible based on the axes created earlier. Remember these points can be moved using the selection tool. They can also be deleted using the selection tool and the delete tool. Any unnecessary information on the graph should be deleted. The delete tool is like an eraser. In some situations, plotting points is the correct method to display the information in the problem. However, in some situations, the correct way to display information is with some form of a line. This tutorial will now review creating line segments, rays, and lines. The line tool will allow the user to create a line segment. First click on the line tool. Then click and hold where the line segment should begin, then drag the cursor in the direction of the intended line segment. It is typically easier to do this through two plotted points using the point tool. Once the line segment is created, it may be moved with the selection tool. However, the slope of the line will not change. 
If the line segment has the incorrect slope, it will need to be deleted and recreated. If the user is displaying information that would be best displayed as a ray, then the draw tool will be needed. First, a segment must be placed on the graph in the correct location. The user will then select the draw tool to create an arrow on the end of the line segment. First, select the draw tool. Click and hold on the graph where an arrow is needed and then begin drawing the arrow. The arrow can be moved with the selection tool or removed with the delete tool if necessary. The arrow will be easier to move or delete if it is drawn with one complete movement. This may take some practice. If the user is displaying information that would be best displayed as a line, then the user will use the draw tool to create arrows on both sides of the line segment. If the user determines that the information being displayed should be some form of a curve, then the draw tool should be used. Don't expect that a perfect curve will be drawn on the first attempt. A little practice and a few plotted points may be helpful. Keep in mind, if the user wants to show that the curve would not end, then an arrow needs to be constructed on the appropriate end or ends of the curve. In some cases, data on a graph will need to be labeled. The user may do this e using either one of the text tools. Labels can be created and moved to identify specific points, lines, or other characteristics of the data on the graph. To review, users can add, move, and delete various elements such as lines, curves, labels, points, segments, and rays. The information contained in the graph when the test is submitted should be clear and complete. Any incorrect points, lines, and labels should be deleted prior to submitting the test. Thank you for taking the time to view this eye tester tutorial. Viewing this tutorial is only the first step. Please take some time to practice these skills on the practice test and the pretest forms of these assessments prior to taking the actual end of course assessment.